Hey yo there, you know the gaming up what you see what I did there and we'll say hello I say hey yo. So hello there, you know gaming up her. It is this supreme face with the display and if you can read the title above like the fool you are, you can see that this is a cool little enchantment table adjustment center where okay, here's the enchantment table. And normally it will be surrounded by bookshelves to increase its levels. Now as you can see, it is surrounded by bookshelves, however, they are not close enough to give off runes to this uh, little enchantment table, which would increase the value of the enchantments possible. However, with this little center, you can actually control that. Basically, what happens is, each lever controls the set of pistons, um, or, sorry, no, these levers control pistons, and those pistons control ten bookshelves each for each lever. So, uh, basically, whenever you flip uh, one lever, uh, you heard that piston noise, hint, hint. When you push a lever, you simply um, the pistons will push or push uh, ten bookshelves closer towards the enchantment table, and uh, what that simply does is it will increase the enchantment range. So uh, we'll start it off. As you can see, we have about I think the average between six and twelve, somewhere between there, maybe sixteen. I'm wrong. Uh, however, uh, with more bookshelves closer to it, you're gonna have a higher possible enchantment. What I'd like to call it strong. So we're going to put this middle one over here, and uh, what's going to happen is 10 more bookshelves are now closer, and uh, these 10, uh, you can see, the range of impossible enchantment levels increases. You look right here, look, that 19, you like that 19. <laughs> so uh, finally, if we, let's see if we can add one more, and uh, same thing, it will increase in more bookshelves. It results in super extreme awesomely awesome enchantments. Uh, and of course it really doesn't matter uh, which levers you place, you can do them any order you want. It's simply that each lever is controlled or wired to a different set of pistons. So you can flip this one and this one and ignore this middle one and uh, leave it alone. So uh, now let's try to enchant something. I hope I have... I'm going to go really low level because I don't think I have any experience. Right. Yeah, I can enchant one. Yeah. And look at that, I got damage one. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but um in creative mode now for one point one you have unlimited arrows for the bows. And yes that is an NPC village in a flatland world, which is awesome. So the redstone. So uh these side levers they work the same way. The wiring, uh this is pretty much a mirror image in this uh, to this side in terms of redstone wiring. So uh, when you activate the lever you got some magical redstone that uh, it will wire up to uh, 10 different pistons right over here as you can see with Mega's magnificent work of the non-genius. It's actually very easy. I, I based this off a video I saw a while ago. I can't remember from who. But uh, you can basically turn that on and off and you will see the different redstone. It'll do its thing. And now for the middle one, it is a bit different. I thought that was a slack, but it is a bit different. Uh, instead of activating each from the outside, what it'll do, it'll go straight in, activate the eight pistons over here, and uh, there's still two more because uh, each lever controls ten. And that one simply goes under the whole entire thing, and it will activate these last two piston blocks over here. And now if you can look inside, it's just going to push them together. So, yeah, that's just a test. Uh, so as you can see, it's actually very simple. Uh, it's easy to make if you know what you're doing. I will make a tutorial on it if you'd like. Uh, anyways, uh, peace out, guys. Towards the sun, I will shoot the sun down. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm going to die. No, and uh, peace out, guys.